Now, I had heard of a story of a, of a, a musician who was doing lots of music and everybody kind of went and said, ah, it's not commercial. And he produced thousands and thousands of these songs and these tunes and these little ditties and everything. And after about 20 years, suddenly all his material became commercialized because somebody liked it and they were looking for more and more and more and more. And of course, because he'd finished them, he had more and more to give. It was there. It was in his chess box. And he was able to get the material out there. And that eventually made him all the money that he needed to make. Um, and I think that's the key thing. That's where it's going to take a long time. It's not a thing that happens overnight and you're suddenly going to be successful. You've got to keep working at it. You've got to keep adapting your own approach to things. You've got to keep on learning and seeing where you can improve and what you might need to go back and rework a project at a later date. If you're, If you can within your own means, do these things either in your own time uh, while you're actually working on something else to generate the income. That's all good. But keep on developing those little things because they can eventually lead you somewhere. What we've also been talking about is how to make look at things from a kind of commercial basis where you know that you're, you've done your research, the people that you're talking to that might want to invest in you, you're giving them something that's appealing that they'll say yes that's what I'm interested in because you know what they want. And that's a key point to, to bear in mind as well. Well, back to the weird thing is we're going from production to sales and back and forward there. So there's no no question. Don't We have plenty of shows out there. Don't do nothing in an outing time. You go, it's to be to working on your art. The, the problem is, is the, you know, always finish it. So there's no point in having a half-finished painting, a half-written song, a half-written screenplay. Fine, that's your production. Keep on doing that. Don't I don't disagree with George. Like again, like my sisters, like uh, families and friends, you can keep on writing them, keep on producing them, but not if they keep on going in drawers. And at no point are you engaging with the other part of the process. Do what it says on the tin and follow and share.